Ever wonder why certain quotes are easier to remember than others? Why some speeches made a bigger impact than others? Take, for example, Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. While you may not have the entire speech memorized, you do know some of it as well as King's ultimate point. The speech's success is due in part to King's fantastic use of parallelism. Parallelism is a literary device in which parts of the sentence are grammatically the same or are similar in construction. It can be a word, a phrase, or an entire sentence repeated. King's famous I have a dream repetition makes the speech compelling and rhythmic as well as memorable. Parallelism is considered a great persuasive tool. Its repetitive quality makes the sentence or sentences symmetrical and therefore very memorable for the reader. Parallelism makes the idea easier for readers to process because they sense a pattern and know what to expect. A popular example is the famous translated line from Julius Caesar, I came, I saw, I conquered. Notice that the sentence construction is being repeated. Each phrase begins with I plus a verb. It not only sounds appealing, but the repetition makes the quote stand out in the reader's mind. There is a reason why the quote became so popular. If the sentence had been constructed a different way, with faulty parallelism, it would turn bulky, unbalanced, and lengthy. I came to this place to see, and after I saw, I conquered it. Notice how this sentence loses its memorable nature and appeal. Faulty parallelism oftentimes appears in sentences with lists and phrases that the writer unnecessarily tries to vary. Parallelism in literature uses the same idea to appeal to the reader or make something memorable, but with